So in another video, I covered off how to create a pay-as-you-go agent that you can use with Copilot Studio. So that means that you can create agents with Copilot Studio without having to have the need to buy a full license of Copilot. Now, one of the other capabilities that a full license does provide is what's known as SharePoint agents. So on the screen here, I've logged into a tenant that does have a full license. And when I'm in a SharePoint site, you'll notice in the top right hand corner here, if I select, I get the little Copilot icon. If I select that, then I have the ability to access the agent for the whole um, team site here. And I've also got the ability to create, go in and create additional agents. So if I pull that down here, you'll see that I get the ability to go in and actually create a custom agent. Now, the other option you also get when you have the paid version of uh, a Copilot license and SharePoint is the ability to create agents inside document libraries, files and folders. So if I go into a document library here, you'll see that I also get once again, the ability to create an agent there. So that's what the full license provides you. Now, how can we get the same capability, but with pay as you go using um, the capabilities linked to an Azure billing subscription? Well, it is possible. So what I've done here is I've logged into the tenant in which I had previously created the link for Copilot Studio. And what I'm going to do now is set up pay as you go for the SharePoint agents. Now to do that, I'll need to go to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. I'll need to open up settings and I'll need to open up org settings as you see on the left. Then as if I scroll down here, you'll see that there is an option here called pay as you go services. I'm going to select that. And that's going to go in and allow me here, you'll see, to create agents in SharePoint. Now, before I actually click on and do that, what I should do is pop over to Azure. Okay, so I'm, basic, I'm over here in Azure. Now, what I have done already is I've created a resource group, as you see here, called SPO Agents. Now, I've done that so that I can track the billing. So you'll see in here, I get the ability to look at cost alerts, budgets, all that sort of stuff. So the best advice is, is that firstly, you will need an Azure subscription for the page you go billing. And also I would suggest creating a dedicated resource group in which to target your SharePoint agent so you do know and can monitor the costs. Now, once you've done that, we go back to our page you go service. We select the agents in SharePoint. Now you'll see here it then takes us through a couple of steps that we would need to set up. So we need to obviously, as I mentioned, have an Azure subscription, which we already have. I've also created a resource group that keeps it nice and clean, but you can use an existing one if you want. And now I need to set up the billing. So I need to go in here and select my Azure subscription, and then it should prompt me for the resource group. So there's the one that I created, and I just need to uh, nominate my re region, which I have to find in this list, Australia East, and then accept the pay as you go services. And now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna save that and it's gonna set that up for me. Now, obviously this will take a little while in the back end to work itself out, to tie to the building and so on. But you'll see here, I do get the agents is now set up and turned on. So any of the agents that will appear and that I use, we build against that Azure subscription in a pay as you go method. So if we now go out and have a look at SharePoint, so let's go over to SharePoint. Let's pick a SharePoint site here. So let's pick uh, this demo site and see if the Copilot, sorry, the SharePoint agent has appeared. Yes, it has. And we get a nice information here. Now remember, you may have to wait a little while for this to work through your own system, but this has been very quick. So you'll see here that I get that information. I get the Copilot button in the top right hand corner as expected, which is going to allow me to go in and create agents in there and to modify them. And if I go into my documents and go in and select the option uh, here, so I go up to my document library and you'll see that I've got the ability to create an agent. So that has now worked its way through the system, it will be available in all the SharePoint sites and to all the users. You can control this with permissions, but that is the easy way. Now remember, all of the usage of the SharePoint agents will be tied back to the billing that is in Azure as part of that Azure subscription. Now, the way that I did that is that I made sure that I had an Azure subscription and I had a resource group set up. I went into the admin center, went into settings, then went into org settings, selected the pay-as-you-go services, went to the agents in SharePoint, 
and then basically enable the options there and target it at my Azure subscription that I had already set up. So there you go, that's the way that you can add a pay-as-you-go SharePoint agents. Now you can combine that obviously with the pay-as-you-go Copilot agents to get that capability and have all of that build as a consumption uh, to your Azure subscription rather than having to buy a full license of Microsoft 365 Copilot. So hopefully you found that helpful and it will allow you potentially to roll this out in a staged approach when you're coming to utilize AI inside your Microsoft 365 environment. Thank you very much for watching the video.